In this video, we'll answer the question whether C2H5OH, this is called ethanol, is a polar or nonpolar molecule. The short answer is this is a polar molecule. So let's see why. We have two different representations here, kind of a structural formula and then a molecular model. So you can see the oxygen right here, this O, that's the red, the H, those are white, and then we have the carbons. We should see right away this OH group here. That's what makes this an alcohol. For the OH, the oxygen is electronegative. So we have this kind of electronegative atom by itself here, then some more less electronegative elements over here. We're thinking it's going to be a polar molecule. Let's look at the exact differences in electronegativity, though. So if we look at the hydrogen, here's our hydrogen compared to the carbon. 2.20, 2.55, not a real big difference. It's less than 0 0.5, so we consider these bonds here to be nonpolar. The carbon, though, and the oxygen, that's a much bigger difference. It's greater than 0 0.5. This bond right here, that's going to be a polar bond. And these electrons right here in the bond, they're not going to be shared equally. They'll be spending more time around this oxygen atom because it's more electronegative. For our oxygen atom and our hydrogen atom, the oxygen, that's 3.44, hydrogen 2.20. So again, this will be a polar bond between these two atoms. The electrons in this bond, they'll spend more time around this oxygen atom. So as a result of these electrons here spending more time on this oxygen, this oxygen is going to have a partial negative charge. The hydrogen would be positive, and then on this side over here, positive relative to what we have here. So we have our poles. This is a polar molecule. Let's take a look at a representation of this in the electrostatic surface, kind of the charge on the surface of this molecule. So here's our ethanol molecule. The oxygen, that's the red, hydrogens are white, and the carbons here, those will be the gray or the black. So this area up here where it's blue, that's the more negative area, and then the red, that's more positive, and this area is fairly neutral. So we can see the poles. We have our negative pole up here, and then down here, this is the more positive pole. So ethanol, C2H5OH, that's definitely going to be a polar molecule. So we saw in our model there that this was the more positive, and then this here was fairly neutral. So let's remove that. So since we have this polar molecule, this will dissolve in water, which is another polar molecule. This is Dr. B answering the question whether C2H5OH is polar or nonpolar. Ethanol is a polar molecule. Thanks for watching.